The Meeting of Acids and Alkalis by Toolkit Written by Tasneem Marasiawala and illustrated by Tasneem S. Jamali Ajab beckoned to her little sister and brother and shared the big news with a flourish. Ammi, Abu, Dada and Dadi were all going out that evening. They were not really going to be alone. Three other families lived very close by on the same floor as theirs. But this was the first time that all the grown-ups had to leave at the same time. They had a secret meeting to decide what to do. A party was planned. The dinner menu was decided. A quick check was done in the fridge and store cupboard for what they needed. They were now set for an evening of fun, games and party. And don't open the door to anyone were Ammi's parting words. Finally, Ajab closed the door and took charge. She turned on the TV. A volcano was spewing lava on the screen and red hot embers were flying everywhere. People were running and the hero was carrying a little girl to safety. For a moment, all three pairs of eyes were glued to the image on the TV. The rumbling of Imran's tummy was loud, like an alarm clock. All three laughed and Ajab flickered the channel to news. The news channel provided noisy comfort without distraction. Ajab told Sara to bring the ingredients for chocolate milkshake and sandwiches. Imran ran off to get the plates and glasses. She herself took out the blender from the cupboard very carefully. Finally, everything was ready. Just then, the neighbor auntie yelled, Ajab! Ajab! Ajab climbed up the stool and looked out the window. Auntie was standing at an identical window across the corridor with the TV remote control in her hand. She asked Ajab what they were doing. Ajab told her they were watching TV. Call me if you need anything, Auntie said. Yes, Auntie, I will, Ajab assured her. She got down and closed the window Partway. Auntie could be suspicious if she closed it completely. She went back to the kitchen. Six pieces of bread were laid on a tray. Sarah smeared tomato ketchup on each slice, while Imran carefully laid a cheese slice on top. Meanwhile, Ajab measured three cups of milk and poured it in the blender jug. She added three tablespoons of chocolate powder. They all watched as the mounds of chocolate powder fell in with a ploop. Slowly, each mound started sinking in the milk while little bits floated out from the sides. Ajab then closed the lid and pushed the on button. The liquid gave a violent jerk and instantly started going round and round, creating a little whirlpool in the center. The whirring of the machine and the spinning brown liquid had a captivated audience. After a minute, 
Ajab pressed the off button and opened the lid. There was soft, bubbly froth on the top. She scooped it out carefully with a spoon and tasted it and also gave the twins a generous spoonful each. It was not sweet enough. Sarah squirred off to get the powdered sugar. Ajab measured a teaspoon of the smooth white powder and put it in the milk. After some thought, she added another spoonful. She let Sarah push the button to turn on the blender. It was then when it happened. Instead of the usual whirl and spin, the liquid kept bubbling. Very soon, it was leaking out and dripping down the sides. The lid seemed to be straining against the force of the liquid. Alarmed, Ajab reached out and pulled the cord. She opened the lid and the liquid spewed out in great bubbly waves. Horrified, they watched as the liquid kept pouring out, as if it had become a living thing. Recent TV images of the volcano and lava raised across Ajab's mind and she pulled the twins back in a protective gesture. She almost expected the liquid to be hot. Just then, they heard a click. In dismay, they looked at the front door and back at the mess in front of them. One could not almost hear three ferociously beating hearts. It was Ami. Oh good, it was Ami. She took one look at the dying liquid and the frightened faces and smiled. The twins ran and wrapped themselves around her with Ajab not far behind. Later, as they were eating their sandwiches, Ami told them what had happened. They had put in baking powder instead of powdered sugar. Baking powder, milk and chocolate helped along by the blender resulted in a living liquid. It seems this is what alkalis and acids do when they meet. They exchange atoms and then form and froth in bubbly experiment. Excitement Quite similar to her own friends gathering, Ajib thought, remembering the gleeful giggling and shouting at the sleepover at Tania's place last weekend. The meeting of acids and alkalis. She giggled. 